BPHL Innovation Festival is back. And while this year's event will look a little different, it will continue to foster innovations and connections. Michelle Hisstand is the executive director of the festival and joins us this morning to tell us more about it. Michelle, you got to tell us what we can expect because I hear there is a star-studded lineup of speakers. We've announced some, some pretty cool stars. So we're going to be hearing about innovation and all things related to innovation from Issa Rae. We're going to hear from Nick Offerman from Parks and Rec. We're going to hear from Pitbull, not about music, but about education and what that looks like and, and how we can innovate to, to educate our kids better. And then we just announced that we're going to have M. Night Shyamalan joining us to talk about the work his foundation does. Oh, wow. Those are a lot of people's favorites right there. So I'm sure people are going to want to check this out. And Michelle, as we know, 2020 is a year unlike any other. So describe some of the major changes that you had to make to the festival. Probably the biggest change was, of course, going virtual, right? So we're not able to gather in person like we did last year for our first year. So we've really aimed to make this an interactive and exciting experience so it doesn't just feel like another Zoom meeting. So uh, that would be the biggest change. And then I would say we were also really informed by everything happening in 2020, and that helped inform the, the themes we wanted to focus on this year. So we're looking at innovation through three key lenses, and one is economic recovery, the second is social justice and racial equity. And the third is just this idea of personal creativity and inspiration at a time when a lot of us are working really differently or, or maybe looking for a new opportunity. What would you say is the major takeaway that you hope audiences walk away with, especially with the star studded lineup like that? I'm sure there are so many gems that will be shared. Well, we really want people to walk away inspired and energized. Uh, it's been a challenging year, so we want people to feel like, wow, this was something really exciting, really interesting. And most importantly, I want people to walk away with something they can do differently, right? Because that's what innovation is all about. So I want people to walk away with uh, a new idea on how to be a better ally or a new idea on how to change the way they work from home or for organizations to take away how they should be thinking about pivoting in the face of, of COVID-19 and, and eventual recovery. Um, so really want people to walk away with some actionable insights that they can go use. Great reasons to check out the BPHL Innovation Fest, which begins tomorrow and runs through Thursday. We've got more details for you, of course, in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app. And Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. As we mentioned, there will be a star-studded lineup. Also, local author Caramel Jones will be speaking at the upcoming BHL BPHL Innovation Fest, but she told me it took her a while before she found her voice. Writing for me didn't come at an early age. It came later for me in life, much, much later. And it was something initially that I was, that was intimidated by writing. She's since overcome that fear and is currently working on her fourth novel, Twisted Dreams 3. It's part of a trilogy she's written. A short film based on the book is also in the works. And Caramel will be participating in a panel for the BPHL Innovation Festival called Face the Camera, Video Activism at the Margins. I just feel like people need to be more open-minded to the things that are going on and more accepting and try to make it better as opposed to trying to brush it under the rug because it's not going to go anywhere. Once again, the festival starts tomorrow and runs through Thursday. You can get more details in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app.